welcome back to my channel miss crochet and coffee here and today you see right we are going to do a canvas finish on one of my diamond paintings now a few months ago you probably remember me doing friends of from the seas by diamond art club and i told you guys this was for my daughter so i finally got the canvas in because you know i went through eight different sizes before i found the perfect size you might hear traffic outside. I make no apologies. I'm not the one out there driving around. Jeez. Anyways, so what you will need for this project, a canvas. Doesn't have to be white, just a canvas. A diamond painting. Yes, completed. You have the choice of whether or not you want to seal it or not. I chose not to seal mine. Um, But I would suggest if you're paranoid about the diamonds coming off because when I posted the pictures of the two ones I did practice on a lot of people were asking did I seal it before I put it on the canvas and I was like no one of them was sealed the one with the lighthouse was sealed uh the mermaid one was not if you did not see those I will add pictures at the end this time I promise not to forget anywho so hold on one sec all right, sorry about that. I was forgetting one of the key elements. So you need a canvas. It doesn't have to be white, but you need a canvas. Uh, you need your canvas that you worked on. Mine's just going to be Friends from the Seas by Diamond Art Club. An X-Acto knife. You will be cutting your painting. Believe me, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts this canvas. <laughs> I debated doing this for so long because I do not want to destroy a Diamond Art Club canvas, but I have to in order for it to fit properly on it. You also want to make sure you have some type of adhesive because you want to glue the back of your canvas that you worked on to the canvas. You're also going to need a ruler. All right, so this is how it goes. First things first, when choosing a canvas, as I said previously, it took me eight different canvases to figure out which size would be best. Now, Friends from the Seas is a 32 by 42. This canvas is an 11 by 14. And I put you guys in this way so you guys can see what I'm doing so I don't have people going, this is a crappy video. Well, forget you, buddy. All right. So first things first, you flip your diamond painting over. And you want to set this in the middle. And actually, I want a marker. Is there a marker around here? All right, hold on again. All right. You think I'd be a little bit more prepared for this since I've been practicing all week? Yeah, no, this, yeah, no. If you're looking for perfection, folks, <laughs> don't come here. Anyways, so essentially my ruler here, with my ruler, I'm going to just make a mark. Now you would think with all the kids I have in this house that one of them would have a ruler, a smaller one. No, why would they have that? That makes sense. All right, so you see this little thing that I just made, that's about how much of your canvas you're going to lose. So you want to make sure to mark it on both sides. And I would, you know, use a marker, not a crayon. But they also didn't have any markers available because, you know, these are my kids. Why would they have markers? I only bought them for them for school. And you want to do that to all four sides. So we're going to mark on here where exactly we are going to cut. Surprisingly enough, with my Diamond Art Club canvas, the crown works perfectly fine there. Sometimes you got to improvise, folks. All right, so now, now that we made the marks of where we need to cut, that still hurts to say it. Oh, geez. Next, you're going to spray the front of your canvas with the adhesive. Now, with the adhesive you get, you want to make sure it doesn't dry fast because you're going to need time to maneuver your diamond painting around and make sure you get it centered. I have just a Loctite spray adhesive. It worked perfectly fine for me. That way, if you make a mistake as well, it's not super glued to it. It'll still come off. So we're just going to put a layer of glue on here. And 
and then you just flip it back over and put it back where it was and you should have cutouts as to where you laid it you want to make sure it's straight so maneuver it around all right so first things first what i'm gonna do i got my staple gun i'm gonna fold up this top part And I'm going to staple it. Actually, I'm going to staple on the inside. That will hold it in place. What you want to do is actually staple it onto the board, the border of your Donna painting. But essentially, you want to make sure the sides are covered by the diamond painting, like that. See how it's wrapped? All right. So I probably could have moved that a little bit. As a matter of fact, we will. And just take your X-Acto knife. Please don't break it. And I'm, like, cutting diamonds off, apparently. If some diamonds fall off, it's all right. You'll be okay. Now I'm going to adjust this a little bit. So... Just gonna pull that staple out. Pull this staple out. And we're just gonna adjust it because we want essentially them to be about the same. And again, you don't want the glue to dry fast for this reason. So we're gonna. And don't worry if the back gets messed up. Jesus. Nobody's looking at the back. It's on the back of this. All right, so we might have to move that up. Measure. Twice cut once, folks. Because you want just enough for the diamonds to wrap around the canvas. We're just going to bring that down just a little bit. And as you can see, the glue is still tacky. And again... You're not going to see that part of the canvas, so don't freak out if you have to keep replacing it. You have to put it right there. 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 That's going to have to work. All right. So I'm going to put a staple here. And I'm going to fold this over. And I'm going to staple right here. And yes, that's stapled on the diamonds. Don't freak out. All right, so remember those lines you drew? We're now going to cut those out. And so going across those lines, you're just going to cut. And actually, I'm going to use scissors. So using my scissors... I'm going to cut that piece off. And why? See how that's flush there? I'm then going to tuck this under here so that the side goes down. Okay? So that's why you're cutting it. So you're going to do that to all four corners. You're going to cut the four corners. So you're going to cut all four corners. And yes, that also might mean cutting diamonds. Cut all four of those corners that we measured. Sorry, I gotta be able to see it. And you want to make sure if you had to adjust your canvas that you you are cutting in the right spot, because the the one thing you don't want is to have a gap where you were supposed to have cut it and you cut it and forgot to remeasure it. Again, it might not come out perfect if you don't make sure you measure. So that's three sides. And then this last one, we're just going to cut 
you up a little bit side. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Kevin Arkwood, I love you. Y'all know this is hurting me, right? one little corner doesn't want to come off all right now we got all four corners cut so then what we're gonna do we're gonna stretch and again we're gonna staple right in the middle watch your fingers folks safety first all right so then we're gonna staple that down We're gonna lay that underneath there. We're gonna staple this down. Make sure it's on the board. We're gonna do the same thing this side. We're just gonna pull it over as tight as we can. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Watch your fingers. really quick simple project this canvas probably cost me six bucks at Walmart all right and as you can see here we have some overlapping right so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that overlap off so I'm gonna take my scissors because you don't want the side showing like that so even right here we have a little bit so we're just gonna trim that off don't trim it too much because you want the side to be hidden. So when it goes down, it doesn't look like anything's missing. And you can also add some glue right there. Like if you have like some regular Elmer glue, you can add the glue there. So we're going to, because this wasn't cut straight. And I'm just cutting the top part. I'm not cutting the actual canvas right there. Because sometimes these things don't work out properly. All right. Let's see. Oh, I gotta cut this row of diamonds off right here. Yes, this is painful for me because essentially I'm hurting my diamond art club. All right, so now we're gonna cut that side because I don't want that there. So I gotta cut the paper. And this isn't perfect. Again, if you're looking for perfection, you came to the wrong place. I'm just going to add some glue there because then I can lay this over top of that. And that should get those, not only will it get those diamonds to stay there, but it will also get the canvas to stay. So, oh, I got a diamond that tried to escape. Sorry, this side is being a little willy wonky. So I'm just going to take and press on it, put some pressure on it with my scissors. Because I don't want to stick to the canvas. So yeah. What do you think? There you have it. There is our canvas. It has been stretched around an artist canvas. Hang on one sec. I'm going to take you out to my living room so that I can hang it up and show you exactly what it looks like. Hold on. And there you have it, folks. My wrapped canvas. And when you go to the sides, where you can look up top, look at the sparkle on it. And take it, this has been rolled up in my closet since I finished it, so... Yeah. Either way, that's how I did my canvas wrap. It's not perfect, but 
it works for me. Either way, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to put them down in the comment section below. Also, if you have any tips for me uh, on how to better my technique, please feel free to also put that down below. That's it for me, folks. What do you think? Leave it down in the comments. But always remember to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.